guys, it's Miko from MO Sound Lab, and today we're trying to prove that tone wood exists. Uh, this is actually something that started to bother me quite a bit. I realized that throughout the ages of the internet world, everyone has been trying to prove that tone wood does not exist, but no one in the first place has ever demonstrated that it's an actual thing. Not any guitar manufacturer out there has made a test of showing like this is tone wood and we are selling this bothers me quite a bit so this got me thinking that there has to be a way for me to somehow demonstrate or even show to myself what tone wood even sounds like because we're always talking about tone wood but if we can't even hear tone wood separately how can we justify it being a good thing why do you want to have this tone wood what if tone wood actually sounds terrible and what you should be doing would be to get rid of this tone wood? I don't know because I don't know what tone wood sounds like. Do you know what tone wood sounds like? We don't have any clue. So I thought about it and I think I have a way we can maybe quantify what tone wood actually sounds like. So I'm gonna take this guitar. I'm gonna take another guitar. Probably gonna ding these guitars, but hey, it's worth the experiment. This is very smart, by the way. So now I have a guitar sandwich. Uh, <laughs> I have the volume full on for this guitar. I'm actually gonna see what it sounds like on its own. And then we're gonna compare that to the resonance coming from the other guitar. So this is just the guitar. And I'm making absolutely sure that I'm pressing these uh, bodies up against each other as hard as I possibly can to maximize the resonance going through from these bodies. Then we need to listen to absolute silence so we have a reference point. So the absolute silence from your guitar when you're not playing it is this. And now if I strum this other guitar pressed up against this guitar we will get the resonance from this guitar going into this guitar and it's resonating the strings and we're hearing whatever this resonance is actually doing. At least I hope this is what tone wood is. Okay, what do you think? Comments down below. Um, I'm actually quite proud that this is probably the first time I've ever heard just the guitar resonance coming through uh, guitar strings to the pickups and actually hearing it. I mean, it's super low volume. If I took that guitar strum and the tone wood portion and layered them up uh, on top of each other, I would actually not get any difference in the output volume and I would not get a difference in the frequency spectrum. So it's safe to say that if that tone wood ringing or guitar resonance coming back through the strings comes into your tone, it's probably unmeasurable. And sure, this is partly an opinion-based thing, but personally, if you ask me what that sound was in that tone wood resonance thing, it wasn't a very pleasant sound in my opinion. Sure, there was some low end to it, so potentially some warmth could be a thing, although I can't measure it when I layer up these tracks. Uh, what we are getting from that ring is a very nasty sounding high end ring, and it's almost completely uh, that annoying ring that I usually try and mute. So uh, from the head stuck up, I will many times mute the strings and the same thing sometimes on some guitars I will also mute the springs inside the guitar if it's a Stratocaster or if it's a Gibson like here sometimes I will actually mute uh, after the tunematic and that metal bridge part so there's no annoying ringing happening there and if we listen to this clip that is mostly what I'm hearing that is the annoying sound that I'm trying to get rid of so 
because we haven't ever really heard tone wood, now that we actually hear tone wood, do you think it's a good thing? Is this something that you actually want in your sound? Um, this is actually a debate that I've had with some of my friends because many of them say that an acoustically ringy guitar is always better. And I found the opposite to be true. My favorite Les Paul out of my collection is one of those that doesn't ring at all. It's almost completely muted down. I'm not sure what it is, but that does not resonate that much. But it's the one that sounds the best recorded. It's the tightest sounding one. So is tone wood even a good thing? People are advertising that something has good tone wood, but is it a good thing? I'm not sure it is. Maybe it causes more problems. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's a good thing. But however, whether you have it or not, I would say it's such a subtle difference. I can measure it now and it's making no difference, really. So the conclusion that we can come up to from now is that tone wood is a real thing. Your guitar does resonate and that resonance does resonate your strings more. So it is a thing. It does at least something. I can measure it now but it doesn't make a difference. I cannot measure it with EQ. I cannot measure it in loudness difference because it's so low volume. That's it really. If you found this video useful, please thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this and see you on the next one. I've been Miko from ML Sound Lab and bye bye.